Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lee Shane, your local real estate professional. In this video, we want to discuss the mass exodus out of California, moving into Tennessee and other conservative states. It appears that these buyers are moving to get away from the political views in their states. Recently, I was asked to do an interview with Jason Clark, a realtor with eXp Realty and Red State Relocate, a program that he is developing to help conservative buyers connect with conservative agents in other states. So in this video, we talk about what Tennessee has to offer for those people wanting to move into Tennessee. So I want to share it with you, but before I do, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you're notified each time that I post new content. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Hey, we have a wonderful guest today. Uh, we're bringing Lee Shane from East Tennessee. Uh, Lee, welcome to uh, Red State Relocate. Thanks for being on the program. Well, thank you, Jason. I appreciate you uh, inviting me to sit in on this interview and uh, talk about uh, what East Tennessee has to offer. Awesome. And from what it uh, from what it appears, East Tennessee has a lot to offer. You guys are growing like crazy, correct? We, we are. It seems that uh, there's a lot of people who decided that Tennessee is the place to be. I mean, after all, this is God's country. Mm -hmm. That's true, man. That's true. I don't I'll, I'll, Maybe later on, I'll tell you a story. Stick around to the end. You know how they do that. Stick around. I'll tell you a story about I think one of the one of my favorite experiences in life. And I don't know if I told you we talked on the phone a while back, but man, it was uh, it was in Tennessee. It was in uh, Nashville at the Ryman Auditorium. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. it, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. So uh, so real quick, just about yourself. Tell uh, tell us about uh, you know you uh, you know what what got you into real estate. How long you been in real estate? And uh, you know just I'm, again the the market for who Red State Relocate. You know kind of well, let me let me rephrase uh, Red State Relocate markets to the politically conservative Californian, uh, or really just any Californian that's just kind of looking around their neighborhood and realizing that it's not working for them anymore, that they no longer are served by their local leaders and, and they don't like the way their businesses are being treated. They don't like the way they're being treated or they don't like what their kids are being taught. Right. So, uh, so with that in mind, kind of understanding the, the kind of the client or audience we're talking to, uh, you know, sure. who's Lee Shane and, and how can, how can you help, uh, you know, these people, uh, you know, live, come come live a better life uh, in East Tennessee. So a little bit about myself. Uh, pretty much a native of Tennessee. Lived in uh, Middle Tennessee for a good portion of my life. Moved to East Tennessee after about in the military and a few jobs uh, in other states. Always seem to come back to Tennessee. It's home. A uh, very conservative state. And we plan on keeping it that way. <laughs> uh, we are... Uh, God loving, gun toting, uh, this American patriots, and this is what I love about Tennessee and the people here. The same way, we we have uh, very similar views, and I think that's the people who are coming this way see that and share the same values that we do, and we're appreciative of that. Uh, the last thing we want to do is change our way of life. No, and that's great. And I think, uh, I think sometimes when I, I'll say like one of my, one of my hobbies <laughs> at times could be actually digging into the data at times for where Californians uh -huh. are moving to and what's happening to states where they're moving to. And, uh, you know, Tennessee being a big one, obviously Tennessee, you guys are getting a lot more probably from New York and kind of more of those areas too. Is that, is that correct? That, that is true. The, the majority of my sales have been from California, people relocating here. I've had several from New York or upstate New York, a couple from the north, like around Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. But honestly, 90% of my sales in the last two years have been people relocating from California wow. looking to get into a more conservative state. 90%? Wow, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yep. That's a lot. Yeah. And so, and then kind of where I was going with looking at the data, um, you know, when we look at, you know, I know it's real popular for people and you see it online, right? I see it in, in your comments and comments all across the internet. Uh, you know, don't move here, Californians. You know, we're closed. We don't want your politics, et cetera. Um, but, you know, when we look at 
Idaho, right? Californians have been moving there for decades. Uh, Idaho's yeah. getting more red, right? They, they're passing constitutional carry. They've got Right. They've got Republican representation across the board. And, you know, California is moving to Idaho is not anything new. Right. It's not a new phenomenon. And, yeah. and so they're getting more red. I look at Tennessee or a lot of the just even the southern states. Um, look at what happened to Florida. Right. With COVID. So many. They were yeah. the, I think they were Democrat, 200,000 plus Democrat before COVID. And now they're 100,000 plus Republican. Yeah. Just in two years. You know, and so a lot of people are saying, no, now I can understand the housing issue. Right. We could say. Okay, you're driving up the price of housing, but when you talk about the way of life, you're not changing our way of life. Uh, you know, it, I, my hope is anyway, and the people that I market to and, and try to reach out to uh, to move to areas like yours is, uh, you know, I, I would say for those of you who you work with or who would be watching this, to trust that the people you're moving to to East Tennessee are, are not going to change their way of life is right. Is, uh, is that hopefully like, that's hopefully that's a good deal. <laughs> we, we've been very fortunate that. The people who seek out my services are like-minded people, mm -hmm. and I mean we, we don't discriminate, of course. But again, they've seek they seek me out. I don't know if it's because I share their values, or that they're just wanting to come to the the more conservative type of states. Uh, so yeah, as long as the people who are moving here that are seeing this video, obviously they're concerned about uh, the way that they're being treated, their jobs, their incomes, their uh, the way of life, and they don't want to be infringed upon. And Tennessee is very strong. Uh, our representative here stands up for what we believe. Uh, so I, I, I welcome everybody who wants to come. We just ask that uh, – you leave your other views behind and not try and inflict uh, those type of political values on us. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it won't go well. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of, like you said, there's a lot of those things out there on the internet that says, you know, the state's closed or we won't be welcome. You, you are welcome mm -hmm. as long as you are coming here for the right reason. And, and not, to, not just because you want to change us, but because you you believe in what we stand for. Yeah. No, no. What are you seeing yourself, you know, being boots on the ground there in Tennessee? I mean, I know Nashville is really booming and, and oftentimes uh, cities can just be more liberal just naturally. Right. Like, you know, when, when I lived true. in Denver, it was surrounded by conservative, red blooded American folks. But, man, you've got this mm -hmm. blue dot right in the middle of this of this red state. And Nashville yeah, seems to kind of be the same way. And it's really growing. Yeah. So are you? Are you seeing any change in the politics of the state in general or maybe just in East Tennessee? Are, are you seeing any, is it going further left? Is it kind of staying kind of still good place to live kind of thing? Or what, what do you see five, 10 years down the road? Well, God willing, we're, we're going to be uh, bright red still, mm -hmm. but you're, you're right. Uh, Nashville uh, is kind of becoming uh, more democratic. Uh, they have democratic leadership there. Knoxville also has a democratic mayor, but I think her time is limited. Uh, mm -hmm. People are kind of uh, tired of that type of politics, but the majority of the state and uh, what I see, we're, we're still very conservative, uh, but you're right. The, those main hubs, um, Memphis, Nashville, Knoxville, mm -hmm. they, they do tend to be uh, a little more blue, but I, I can't speak for Nashville or Memphis, but I think Knoxville is going to swing back red again. Yeah. Yeah. I like Knoxville, man. I, I was looking at that. Uh, well, see, I was going to say state, but I was looking at Knoxville a handful of years ago. I actually really was really looking at moving out there. I've, I was, I've always looking at going all kinds of other places, but um, now you're, if I'm not mistaken, you're out of uh, Maryville. Is that correct? Well, my office is out of Maryville. Uh, I, I actually live in Sphere County, uh, better known for Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. My, my office is in Maryville, and Maryville seems to be exploding, not only with uh, business and industry, but it's the hot spot of, of my entire market. It is the hot spot that everybody wants to move to Maryville. Yeah. And I, I think a lot of that has to do with, like I said, 
not only the the business that's moving there, but we have been rated uh, one of the top school districts in the mm-hmm. state. Right, right. Okay, good. That's actually a good segue because that was actually one of my next questions. You know, a lot of Californians, mm-hmm. California, just you know, our, our school systems are are terrible. We're often ranked near the bottom in terms of graduation rates and and just education mm-hmm. overall. And and unfortunately, mm-hmm. we have you know the highest paid teachers in in the country. And the product that comes out sometimes, you know, obviously it's not always the teacher's fault because we've got this massive, mm-hmm. massive union here that really, really I don't want to say ties their hands, but doesn't allow the the system to kind of weed out some of the maybe people that shouldn't be teachers and our, re- and our results, right? They show for it. And so a lot of people want to leave because they're saying, hey, you know, I, I want to get my kid out of here. And, and, and Californians, as you know, they're coming with a lot of cash and they're saying, hey, I can buy a house and. <laughs> You know, private schools are an option. So what about like private schools? Are you seeing a lot of, I'll say, are you seeing a lot of Californians or people moving there uh, looking at private school options or, or homeschool options? Is that more prevalent there in, in Tennessee? Pri- private schools are very prevalent, uh, primarily because of, again, uh, religious beliefs. We have some very strong, very large private schools, Christian schools, uh, I, I don't know. I'm sure there's other de- denominations out there. Uh, our church has a private school, and there's a waiting list. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, even for the daycare all the way up through graduation, there's a waiting list, people wanting to get in. And it's not just because of uh, tuition rates. It's because of the values, again, that are being taught. Uh, our public school system, for the most part, is, is, a, is good. Like I said, Maryville was rated uh, in the top five of the state. Uh, Knoxville, I mean, I guess any any state or any city is going to have their better school districts than, than others just because of demographics. But uh, we, we're, we're teaching what needs to be taught. They're keeping critical race out of the schools. Uh, I think that's a good a good reason people tend to move here is because of the education. The area that, that I'm in, we've got well, we've got of course University of Tennessee, we've got Walter State, we've got Philosophy, we've got uh, a handful of Christian colleges. I mean you can go to a college within a you know a stone's throw of anywhere you're at here. So we have a good uh, higher learning. And it shows. I mean, a lot of the people who are coming out of these schools continue to carry on with the values that bring them here in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. No. Now, now uh, University of Tennessee, right, being one of the, the major mm-hmm. universities there in uh, in Knoxville, uh, you know, obviously California, our, our university system here is just punching out very, very hard left leaning kids. And, I, right. and sometimes I, I joke with people, I go. You know, you you raise your kid up to be this this well this respectable you know nice nice kid. They go to high school and they go to college. You send them off to college in California, thinking yeah. they're going to get this great education. And, and I always joke about that 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 niece of yours that uh, she's coming home for Thanksgiving, and you know she's a junior at at Berkeley, and you just don't want her to show up because you know she's just going to complain about Thanksgiving the whole time. And and so yeah. it's it's terrible, right? But it's it's. I mean, I'm, I laugh, but it's, it's, it's horrible. You got parents spending hundreds of thousands of dollars and, and they're making their kids miserable, right? And so yeah. uh, University of Tennessee, if somebody wanted to move to East Tennessee and they still want their kid to get a good education, uh, what's, what's UT like? Is how, how are the kids coming out of that school? So from what I hear, of course, my kids are all grown. Uh, but the people I talk to who do associate with the university – the the kids are still coming out fairly level headed, good education. Mm-hmm. I've only heard one instance of, um, uh, let's say, a not so popular perspective from one professor, uh, and the, and the parents handled that best way they knew, and that was to pull the child out of the school. Mm. But all in all. I believe that the school is still holding true to our conservative values. I know there there's probably young kids because they come from all over. I mean, it's not just Tennessee where they're coming from. 
Yeah. They come from all over to go to this university. So I'm sure that they're bringing with uh, some outside influences. But right now, I believe that we are still holding strong. Good. No, that's awesome. That's fantastic. You just you just went from 90% Californian based to about 98% California based right now with that. Because, yeah, I mean, parents want to send their kids to college and have the kids actually come out. You know, halfway decent. That's that's not too much to ask. It didn't used to be too yeah, much to ask. What's that? With, with an education, I mean, the reason that we send them to school is to gain that knowledge and to develop the, the skills that they need. And I, I believe that our universities here are doing exactly that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, that's great. That's great. Good. Uh, good job. Uh, good job, Tennessee. So, uh, so with so kind of coming back to. Uh, the Californians that are moving there. Uh, obviously, in, in California, when when homeowners are selling, uh, they're selling in the leverage position. There, it's major right. sellers' market right now. They're right. They're calling the shots, and they're walking away with a lot of cash. They're going yep. to, to Tennessee with you, and they're saying, "Hey, Lee, I want to buy a house." Uh, you know, what are some things that homeowners in California? Uh, it, I'll, I'll say, in terms of structuring a deal, when 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 it comes time for you to put that offer for that home, and there's five or ten other offers. Uh, what are some things that uh, that these homeowners should consider, think about, have done ahead of time, but and then also for yourself, you know, what do you do to make those to make those offers competitive? Sure. So of course we all know cash is king, right? Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of the uh, clients who are coming from California, of course, are selling a home th that is greatly higher in value than what we have here. Uh, so they're they're coming with a pocket full of cash. And they're actually they're outbidding most of the people who are trying to buy these homes. And I, I hate to say it, but, you know, they've kind of outpriced the, the average local who wants to upgrade their home or just to relocate uh, because they do have the, the buying power to do that. Uh, it, it's definitely a seller's market here. So the, the prices are up to begin with. The uh, the folks who are selling here are they themselves are having a hard time finding a home. And I, I caution everybody when they decide to sell their home here mm -hmm. to be careful, not just to look at the dollar figure that you're going to walk away from because you have to go back out and buy something. Right. It's, it's not always easy the, the housing market is, is tough and we have way more buyers than we do sellers. There's a lot of new construction going on and people come here and figure that they can rent while they're building or rent while they're learning the area. And that's a great idea, but there's, there's no, no place to rent uh, because everybody's doing that. Mm -hmm. So just keep in mind that, you know, if you do decide to, you know, move this direction that it, it pays to have a good, you know, realtor that's on your side that, is familiar with the market, familiar with the area, and knows how to get you into a home. The, uh, like I said, our, our rental market is is tight, and you're going to pay probably, oh, let's just say for a three bed, two bath home in a decent area, you know, surrounding Maryville or Knoxville area, uh, probably upwards of twenty five hundred dollars a month. If you can find one, the the days of the you know eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars a month rent they're just they're non existent. They really are. Yeah, I was reading a uh, uh, day or two ago that uh, they're talking about rents across just across the nation or, or just through the roof. You know, twenty thirty percent year over year, and they were even saying in Miami that rents were up fifty percent in Miami. You know, just year over year. What was interesting. Was that in San Francisco and San Jose, where I'm from? They're down. They're actually down ten, five percent, right in that range. So it's a, uh, it's it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see who's leaving where and going where. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, it's it's like I said, it's 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 not surprising. I mean, it's people vote with their with their feet and their money, and they're taking it out yeah. of California, and they're going to states like yours. And and like you said, cash is king. And and I just I do think sometimes that you know, there's with with how do I say it's it's making sure that offer to that buyer is uh, you know is how do I say because there's going to be multiple cash offers oftentimes right 
we, we, do, we do get multiple cash offers. And I don't know how they do business in California, but we're starting to see the use of a, what we call an escalation clause. Oh, which, well, they're coming back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of escalation clause. And uh, basically, if anybody doesn't know what they are, uh, I've got a video on that they can watch. Uh, but it basically says, I'm willing to pay X number of dollars uh, in s- increments of whatever we, they decide. Uh, it's basically like an auction almost. Yeah. It's not an auction. And yeah. we're, we're seeing a lot of those. I mean, I use them quite a bit. Really? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, California, I do. we don't, they stopped using escalation clauses during COVID. They was, it was pretty much just, you know, we're getting 20 offers on a house and there was just no time to go through everybody's escalation. It was a, it was a highest and best offer and, and, and whatever you got, you got. And, and it, it was unfortunate for a lot of buyers. And, and honestly, I think personally, I won't go too much into a tangent, but I think that kind of does limit uh, what the homeowner could have sold the house for. If, if somebody was saying, you know, my first and best is going to be X amount, but maybe it could have been a little higher if they ended up getting into that bidding war. But we really don't get into the bidding war anymore like it used to be because now it's just highest and best. There's 20 offers and the, you know, the agent will go take those 20 to their, uh, you know, to their client and, and they'll do it that way. So it's, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's tough, but no, that, that's good to know that, you know, you're out there, you're on, and, and not only making the offer competitive and what Red State Relocate does is uh, tries to just get a good conservative valued agent like yourself, you know, and that's, that's really what I'm trying to do with, uh, with Red State Relocate is just keep, keep everything in house. We know that if you're a conservative valued person in California, you want to move to Tennessee, that Lee's going to kind of, he's going to be on your side. And if you want to wear your, your Trump shirt, or your Trump hat, you know, you can, you can do that. He ain't going to like, he ain't going to try to, you know, get mad at you or something. So it's, uh, yeah. it's pretty good. Now, and one thing I want to do, I did want to bring up your YouTube channel real quick and here, let me, sure. let, let me throw it up, let people see it. And, uh, uh, let me hold on. I'm a little slow poke here a little bit. There we are. Got that. Got that. And yeah, there it is. So let me click this. All right. So yeah, so we got your YouTube channel here. And uh, like you mentioned, you had the the video. I remember seeing your video there on Maryville talking about the growth. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I saw the Amazon center was going in on there. And so you just got a lot of good, good videos in here, a lot of market type, you know, videos and moving to Tennessee and what to look out for, what not to look out for. So Anybody watching, highly recommend come in and check out these videos. They're going to give you um, a really good, um, you know, kind of feel for what they're what they're getting themselves into for sure. Uh, the the real one, the one I wanted to bring up, of course, is uh, my favorite video of yours. Is uh, actually let me click this out here. Um, is your Freedom Convoy video that you did? And by looking at uh, um, by looking at the amount of views you got, you got eleven thousand views on that. So. Congratulations on that one. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that, that uh, wasn't. Too oh, go ahead. I mean, people who look at my channel, they'll, they'll realize that. I mean, I, I try and keep it real estate related, mm-hmm. but I also it's not just the boring, you know, same old, same old. I, I try and educate people not only on what it is about real estate, but I want them to see what, what we do here. I mean, that's why I go to different communities, try and post different events that are going on in the area. And there's a lot to do here, but it was really exciting when we had a huge turnout for the Freedom Convoy. And, and again, that, that's what we're, we stand for. I got to unmute myself. Sorry. I've got an office next to me. And so sometimes when they get talking, I try to mute. So sorry, I unmuted. But, but no, that gets, that gets really into the point of, of uh, when I'm talking about, uh, you know, conservative age and people like yourself who are willing to just say, hey, this is who I am. This is my values. I'm not hiding it, right? Mm-hmm. And and I think that video there, having 11,000 views on that video, I mean, I think that says it all. I, I think it says that that people came to a real estate channel and watched that video, right, more than, than, right, than any other video on, on that channel. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think sometimes I talk to people and I talk about what it is I'm doing and and, and, and they go, oh, you know, that's, that, that's an interesting niche that, that you're into. You know, you should, you should always get your niche. And I go, I yeah. go if, if, if America is a 50-50 nation and if they say we're almost center right, then that means we have anywhere from 175 million to 200 million conservative valued people. Now, maybe one of those kids or people is a five-year-old kid, right? But he's going to buy a house someday. And so someday. these are 
conservative value people. That is a that is a a a pool of two hundred million people that trust you right off the bat. You're already part of their tribe, right? You're they they know you're on their side. You they know that 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 Lee's not going to take a dime of the commission right from the sale of their house and spend it on things that they don't agree with. So they can trust that. And there's value in that, right? And and I just go, I'm sorry, but 200 million people is not a niche. It's it's a massive market opportunity. And I really wish a lot more realtors would would just be like like you, you know, and just say, this is who I am. You're not preaching politics. You're not telling people what to think or getting in arguments. You're just saying, this is who I am. This is how East Tennessee is. And, uh, you know, come come join the party, but, right? Don't, don't mess up the party. Don't mess it up. So anyway, any thoughts on that? I mean, in terms of, I know a lot of realtors have always been taught to be Republicrats, as they say. Don't don't pick a side. Be the Michael mm-hmm. Jordan, right? Michael Jordan says Republicans and Democrats both buy speakers. But I mean, if you're going to yeah. pick a niche, I mean, why not why not go to people who share your values, who you align with, who you can help find schools and and you know what communities they like. Um, anything to add? Where am I off base on my little tangent? No, you're, you're you're right you're right on target there, and. Uh, we, we we don't we don't hide the fact that you know we are conservative. Uh, if if someone does come in and I I I find someone who we share opposite values, we we will serve them to the best of our ability. And I certainly try not to let uh, politics you know interfere with my business. But you definitely want somebody who you click with and that you feel comfortable with. So again, uh, when you have uh, these term like-minded people, they share the same values. It's easier to help them because they understand where you're coming from. And it makes it easier for us to help them find what they're looking for because again, we know what they're looking for. And so like I said, it, it's, is a good thing. Your channel's great. The idea is fantastic, and it helps put uh, conservative buyers with conservative agents. Yeah, yeah. That's and there's uh, there's another company out there called Conservative Move. His name is Paul Chabot. He was actually one of the mm-hmm. people that I found a handful of years back, a few years back anyway, and really kind of planted the seed for what this is. And and I thought it was brilliant. Right? I thought it was great. He's got Law Enforcement Move. He markets to law enforcement community in California. He lives mm-hmm. in Texas now. Uh, but okay. I thought I, I think about McDonald's. I use the McDonald's analogy all the time to think that, you know, if that competition is good. Right. So to have red state relocate, to have conservative move, I wish mm-hmm. there was 10 or 20 more businesses like this, because I think right now a lot of homeowners, they don't even know it's an option for them right now to have a, a conservative valued realtor. Right. That's that's not even in their mind. And, and I use the McDonald's model that McDonald's started out as this little fast food you know, kind of, you know, little shop store, whatever, you know, restaurant in Southern California. And if it wasn't for competition, if it wasn't for other fast food businesses, the, the say, how do I say like the comp, not just the competition, making them better, but by having more competition, make, make fast food uh, an option for people, right? No, nobody yeah. would have known that fast food was an option if McDonald's had just stayed McDonald's is a small, you know, little place in in, in, uh, in Southern California. So by having competition, by now knowing that, hey, I can go to the diner if I want, or I can go to a restaurant if I want, but I want to go to McDonald's, right? It's it's convenient for me, and that's what I want. I think I would love to see a lot more businesses like mine, like like Paul Chabot's, mm-hmm. uh, just come out and say, hey, this is an option for you. Our our value proposition to you, like I said earlier, is we're not we're not going to spend your hard earned equity on your house or your purchase, you know, on, uh, on things you don't believe in. I, I always tell people, I say, Gavin Newsom won't see one dime for his hair gel fund. <laughs> okay. And Nancy Pelosi won't buy any, you know, ice cream for her $20,000 refrigerators right, that she's got two of, by the way, that we paid for. So, you know, those things with me and, and the people that I work with in this, in, in what I'm trying to build here, um, that that's really what we're, what we're trying to do. So, so I'll close out with this, uh, you know, uh, Lee, I really appreciate you taking the time, but um, in terms of final question for you really is, is just Tennessee itself. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Californians have a lot of options when they sell this big house and they've got money in the mm-hmm. pocket and they go, Hey, I can go anywhere. Uh, why should they go to Tennessee and why should they go to East Tennessee specifically and, and, and have you help them find a home? 
Well, first they need they need to come see you, so you can put them in touch with uh, one of us. But t- Tennessee, Tennessee, uh, we we have so much to offer, and not only just the area that I serve, the East Tennessee side. Uh, I'm in the mountains, so we have an awful lot of outdoor activities. If that's what you like, uh, the school systems are great, and I can't forget we have no state income tax here. Our uh, our property taxes are extremely low. Uh, I'll give you a quick, real quick idea. So I, in in a city such as Maryville or even Knoxville, three bed, two bath house, your property taxes are going to be under three thousand dollars a year. So just to give you an idea. Uh, so like I said we have the, the great outdoors. We got great schools. We got uh, low taxes and no no state income tax. Uh, and of course, we are still a, a red state. And you have Marsha Blackburn, and she don't mess around. We do. <laughs> love Marcia. I'll, I'll tell you something about Marsha. So I, I I email Marsha and send her letters, and she really does reply. Is is really? okay. uh, yeah, she she replies. So does Bill Haggerty. I, I don't believe that these are. Um, form letters because of the way they're written. Yeah. And I, I feel confident if I, if I need to pick up the phone and call Marsha Blackburn myself, uh, she's there. Uh, Diane Harshberger, she holds uh, little town halls all over, all over the state. So our, our representation is strong. They, they want to hold true to our conservative values and it's a, uh, is this going in the right direction? We need, we need to stay strong. Oh, that's good. That's good. I think, uh, I think you're in good shape. You know, like say we got, uh, what? I think 6 million people in California voted for Donald Trump in the last election. Um, I always say, I think another 2 million didn't vote for him just because they didn't like his personality, but they're conservative minded people. And then I think just another 2 million figured he wasn't going to win the state and, uh, just didn't vote. And so that's, we have a pool in California of 10 million conservative valued people. And I guarantee you 95, 99% of them want to get out of here. And I think they'd make great neighbors for the folks in Tennessee and, and all across this country. And if, you know, if, if there's anything that I would say to, to the people out there on the internet is to quit town California is not to move you know, to your state. Cause, cause I'll tell you right now with when, when, uh, when Ted Cruz beat Beto O'Rourke by two percentage points too, you know, I think, uh, I think Texas could really maybe use, a couple million uh, more Californians that share their values. And I, I definitely know Colorado would love to have a few million uh, Californians moving in there, you know? And uh, so hopefully with what we're putting together here and, and partnerships like you and me and just getting the word out that, that this is an option and uh, you know, hopefully homeowners will, will know this too, you know, that, uh, that, Hey, not everybody moving there is, um, you know, is, is out to change their community. So, uh, any final yeah. final words here, Lee? I really appreciate you coming on yeah. and spending time. I, but, uh, <laughs> well, I, I appreciate the invite. All, all I can say is that uh, we we do need to get the word out. We need to f- let people in California know that you know that you're out there doing this because we, we know that when people decide to make the move, they just they'll either find a house and pick that realtor, not knowing uh, who they are or what their values are. Yeah. And at least by using your services, they can get connected with uh, conservative agents and help them get uh, the best bang for their buck. Yeah. Yeah. Not much, uh, not much more we can ask for there. You know, get, get good value for your money, live in a good neighborhood, mm-hmm. kids go to a good school, find a nice church. And, uh, yep. you know, God, there's just not much. What, what more can you, can you ask for, you know? And, and to do it in Tennessee, man, especially where you got all that good country music. I'm a country music fan, so you know, all right. it's, it's it, that's yeah. my jam. Well, all right, Lee. Well, thank you so much. Gosh, I appreciate you coming on. I hope to have you on again, and we'll just maybe just keep doing this, keep chatting, keep moving people all across this country. And I'll say, anybody watching, hey, look, if if you live not only in California, but you live anywhere in this country, you live in in Portland or Chicago, you're in New York City right now, and you got the Blue State Blues. And you want to get the heck out of there and you've decided to go to, to East Tennessee. I'm telling you right now, Lee Shane is going to take fantastic care of you 
And uh, so with that, Lee, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. Wish you all the best in your business. Uh, when you prosper, we all prosper. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Well, God bless you, Lee. God bless you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye now.